Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. So infrastructure bill, it has a, basically there is, an, it is a deal and that will probably be a, a big thing. There was basically a big thing today because of the stocks... Uh, especially those that will benefit uh, highly from the infrastructure bill uh, basically rallied significantly today. And ARK Innovation also rallied, mainly due to the fact that Tesla also rallied significantly as EV is a, a big part of that infrastructure, basically going from uh, petrol to electric uh, and uh, therefore therefore Tesla is also and other um, uh, car manufacturers have benefited significantly today. And if we look at ARK Innovation, we can see that it has rallied roughly 30% the last month. So give or take uh, 27% last month. And therefore, it's also getting very, very overstretched. This is starting to look like a shooting star. We are um, closing above the 150, which is a very good sign. But there are other worrying signs. We are significantly outside of the bullish band here. Last time we got very close to that was right here. And it dropped all the way down towards the middle of roughly 5.9% to the downside. At this point, we're also significantly overbought in the RSI. So both here and here are kind of big warning, warning signs that we are expecting a pullback before going higher here. Other technical indicators like the MACD are bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bullish as well. But this has recovered very nicely, and it is also going to run in into an area around here that has been very difficult to get through. You can see how often we tested this in the past, and we had also this is also where we ran into resistance. So a pullback towards the, the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average that could be something that we'll see in the next uh, next uh, few trading days. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has rallied 0.72% to the upside. Not a huge rally, but uh, things are turning around here. So you see that MACD is still very bearish. Uh, RSI is uh, is flat. Stochastic is uh, is. Um, now the CCI is uh, is bearish and the stochastic here is turning around. It has crossed the signal line and is going into it's going to leave negative territory, which is a fairly bullish shine. A 300 to 100 moving average offered a massive support and it looks like we are going to go at least to test the 20 exponential or 50 moving average. We were significantly overstretched here in the bullish band, so a rally up towards the middle of the bullish band that could be something that we'll see that's a rally of roughly 2.56 percent to the upside right at the 50 moving average to the downside if we break below the 100 moving average then we are looking at 150 down here at 109 so let's look at vti so vti is up uh, barely roughly uh, 0 0.35 we're getting fairly overstretched here. So this has rallied from uh, 216 all the way up to where we are now, give or take a 2.39% to the upside. And uh, a pullback at this point could be expected, probably not right yet. We ha there is um, some room still to the upside here in the bullish band before we hit the top. And we are fairly low in the RSI. Other technical indicators are becoming very bullish. Stochastic is crossing the signal line right now. CCI is bullish. Stochastic is bullish. And yes, if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are probably looking at 225, 230 in the long run. So let's, let's look at MCHI. So this has rallied up towards the 200 moving average, trading at 81 at this current stage. And it's looking fairly promising. We are above the middle of the bullish band. So this could mean that we'll go at least to the top. And that's a rally of 2.86% to the upside, right underneath the 100 moving average. And it's actually the 100 moving average that we need to break in order to go significantly higher. There is an area here, roughly at 84, which is going to be difficult to get through. We can see that we tested it right here, here, 
and also around this area and here. So if you manage to break above this 84, then it's a fairly good chance that we'll go back to the all time highs here. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is crossing the signal line, still in bearish territory. We have the RSI, which is flat and very low. The CCI is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and uh, we're just above here in the bullish band. So uh, things are pointing to the upside at this current stage. So let's look at IVV. So yes, this is up 0 0.64%, and um, it is getting fairly overstretched. You can see that we are at the top here at the bullish band. So pull back towards the middle could be expected down towards that 423. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is crossing the signal line, the casting is bullish, RSI is flat, and the CCI is bullish. So momentum is definitely the upside, but this should be a worrying sign. We could stay here for one or two days, but if this gets out of the bull side of the bullish band, then we could be seeing, could expect a pullback towards the middle of roughly 423. So. Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.